hear the word of God. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank and praise you for the wonderful day you've given us, O Lord. Today, Father, we are under your hands, O Lord, to praise and worship you, Lord God. We commit ourselves in the most precious name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Today's lesson is we are God's temple. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 6, 16 and 17. Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? If anyone defies the temple of God, God will destroy him. For the temple of God is holy. Which temple are you? One of the greatest words which God has given to us is in this virus time, the hard days of time, he says, when the, all the church are closed or locked, church where we were worshipping God in, in truth. Today God made us his temple so that God himself will come and dwell in us. And he has given He has given us the greatest privilege that we are his temple where he will dwell in us. And we are his temple where we praise and worship and honor you, honor him. And it it says, if you defile the temple of God, he will destroy you. For you are the temple of God, which is holy. God, we all know God is holy in everything. So which temple are you? And if you read first chapter, first Peter chapter 1, 15 and 16, it says, but as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. Because it is written, Be holy for I am, ho- I am holy. We Each one of us know very well, God is holy, Jesus is holy in, in the word of God. So we have to be holy to come to him. It's very clearly says to us, we have to be holy in everything. So today God has called you and made you the temple. So today, my dear brothers and sisters who hear the word of God, we are temple of God and we have to be holy in all our thoughts, in our desires, in our action, so that we love God truthfully. We love Jesus Christ truthfully, the Holy Spirit also. We love truthfully and we love all our neighbors. So we are holy because God has made you and me his only temple. So we will now, <coughs> if, you, if you now we read Second Corinthians ch- chapter, chapter 6 verses 16 onwards, we will see how God is telling us what the temple should do and how God loves us in the right way so that we'll have a fellowship with God always in the true way. Uh, six, uh, 6 Corinthians 6 chapter verses 16 onwards. What agreement has is there between the temple and temple of God and idol? For we are the temple of the living God. We are the temple of the living God. So our God is a living God watching over us. So we are his temple. As God has said, I will live with them and walk with them. So God is so kind, so compassionate. He is the king of everything. He is the authority of everything. He is the maker of heaven and earth. He is sitting in the heaven and watching over us. But today he says, I will live with them. He will be in us and walk with us. We all know in Genesis chapter 2 we read, God walked with Adam and Eve. So today he wants to walk with us. He is walking with us in our life. So we should examine ourselves what we are because King of Kings is walking with us. God is walking with us. So today, dear brothers, we have to be holy in everything. Then God says, and I will be their God and they shall be my people. How the living God says, I'll be their living God. So he is a living God with us and we will be his people, special people chosen by you, chosen in everything what we do. So today, let us examine ourselves. And then it says in verse 17, it says, Come come out from them and be separate, 
It's a wonderful word. Separate yourself from others. But the Bible says we have to love everyone. So which way you have to separate? That is the way we walk, the way we talk, the way we do things. That we separate from others. We are not same as all, but we are separate because God is living in us. God is with us. So we are separate people to serve Him in the right way. God wants us to serve in, in praising and worshiping Him. So you are separate. Separate people you are called. God has called. And God says, again He says, Touch no unclean thing and I will receive you. This we clearly we know. Touch no unclean things. So we are not supposed to touch everything what we need. So if you read the book of Daniel chapter 1 eight, verse 8 and 9. But Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine. And he asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself the, this way. Daniel, we know, at a very young age, he was taken as slave by King Nebuchadnezzar and the, the food, everything was given by as per Nebuchadnezzar's food. But Daniel clearly says, I will not defile by those things. I will eat, I'll eat only, drink water and vegetables. And Daniel and his friend were blessed by this. God was with them always. So today, what we touch, what we, uh, what we think, what we do, it should be as per God's wish, not our wish. Because we have been chosen by God and we are chosen by the living God. So my dear brother and sister, today in this hard time, we know our God is with us. He's walking with us. He'll be with us. Eh? He'll keep us under his hand. The, the deadly virus sickness which causes millions of people, lakhs of people under trouble, but we are under his hand, so we are safe. He keeps us under his hand. Then God says, and I will be a father to you. Very beautifully he says, see he says, God is king of kings is saying, I'll be a father to you. He's a father and we, have the, we are the children, so we can ask anything to the father. He's a living God. He's a king of kings. He's, uh, he's saying us to us, he'll be a father to us. My dear brother, sister, how lucky people. We are fa he's our father. And then he says, and you will be my sons and daughters. What a big authority God has given us, the Lord. But he says, you will be my sons and daughters. Today we have the great privilege that we are the sons and daughters of the living God. So that today onwards, help us to look at your Lord. And the Bible says, and says, says the Lord Almighty. See, who is saying to us? The Almighty God is saying that we are the temple of the living God. And that temple, who dwells in us? Jesus Christ dwells in us. God, Almighty God dwells in us. The Holy Spirit dwells in us. And then what we have to do? We will walk, God will walk with us. He will hold our hands in all our difficult days, in our joy day. We'll praise and worship because He is our God with us. He's always with us. The Bible clearly says, I will never forsake you. Not, uh, he will always love us abundantly. So my dear brothers, today in this early morning, let us examine ourselves. What are we? Are we the true temple, the living temple of God, so that we can be a witness to others in, in His name? And we can tell others how much God loves us. Today, let us have the faith, walk with Him, because he, he has made us His temple. Let us pray. Thank you, my Lord. You heard our prayer, my Lord, Father. You will be with us. You will lead us. You will cover us. You will protect us, my Lord. Pray for all the families who hear the word of God. Bless them, my Lord. We commit everything in the most precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of God.